Today's video is one that you cannot afford to miss because there's some huge news coming out of Shiba Inu. First, there's the World Economic Forum partnership that is about to happen for SHIB. And second, Binance CEO CZ might very well be the largest holder of SHIB. I told you that you cannot afford to miss today's video, so just make sure to keep watching. Disclaimer Before we get to any of the major news, you should know that the Shiba Inu team just dropped a major Shiba Swap update. And this is very strategic because it's coming not too long after the collapse of FTX and the ensuing exodus from centralized exchanges. Basically, the collapse of FTX is causing investors to pull their funds out of centralized exchanges and move them to decentralized exchanges, of which ShibaSwap is one. So, it kind of looks like Shiba Inu is trying to capitalize on this switch by releasing this update. So, what's the update? Well, from the look of things, ShibaSwap 2.0 will be getting some fresh new features and completely new user interfaces. Or at least that's what a member of the Shiba Inu core team tweeted recently. She said something about fresh features being on the horizon and new user interfaces looking amazing. And while she didn't explicitly say, it does sound like the team might be testing ShibaSwap 2.0 currently. According to IB Times, the Shiba Inu team launched ShibaSwap in July 2021 and had amassed a total value locked TVL of over $1 billion within 24 hours of launching. Certike, a security-focused ranking platform that analyzes and monitors blockchain protocols and DeFi decentralized finance projects, gave the Shiba Inu decentralized exchange platform a security score of 92, a 93 trust score in July 2021, and a 93 trust score in March 2022. With the first ShibaSwap version recording such huge successes, one can only expect the second version to be even better. Alright, to the main news. The World Economic Forum WEF, has declared its interest in working with Shiba Inu. A couple of days ago, Shatoshi conducted a poll on Twitter to find out whether the community wanted Shiba Inu to collaborate with the WEF. Well, it came as no surprise that the community liked the idea. Close to 5,000 votes were cast and the majority of the votes were in support of the collaboration. And then, according to you today, in a follow-up tweet, Kasuma claims that Shiba Inu developers would be at the table with policymakers helping to shape the global policy for the metaverse alongside tech giant Meta as well as decentralized crypto-native projects such as Decentraland. Most likely this opportunity came to Shiba Inu because of the stake that it has in the metaverse with Shib the Metaverse. Whatever the reason though, this is undoubtedly good news for Shiba Inu. It is a sure sign that all the work that has been put and is being put into the project is not going unnoticed. People, including policymakers, are noticing, and soon enough Shiba Inu will be as big as the dev team and the community hope it will be. This is probably one of the reasons why whales have been grabbing the token in large quantities. Speaking of whales, could Chen Peng Zhao be the biggest Shiba Inu whale? Well, according to one report, Binance holds the largest quantity of Shiba Inu. We're beginning to see a really interesting theme here. If Crypto.com and Binance's reserves are anything to go by, Shiba Inu is probably a favorite of many of these exchanges. And the exchanges being talked about are actually the big name ones. Binance alone holds 56.93 trillion SHIB worth close to half a million dollars, which means that SHIB forms a significant percentage of the exchange's holdings. For an exchange like Binance to be okay with holding SHIB and holding this many, it just has to mean that SHIB is worth a lot in the market. No exchange worth its salt will hold SHIB if they don't believe that Shiba Inu has value and a future. No one would want to sabotage their own exchange. Crypto.com and Binance are not the only centralized exchanges that have been revealed to have a lot of SHIB in reserve. Smaller exchanges like Huobi and KuCoin also have a lot of SHIB in their reserve. For Huobi, about 1.43 trillion SHIB worth about $12.3 million are stored in their reserve. And for KuCoin, their SHIB holding amounts to 4.24 trillion SHIB worth about $36.56 million. With all these exchanges revealing how much SHIB they have in the reserve, it is possible that we could start seeing more people enter the Shiba Inu ecosystem. The idea is that if a crypto company as big as Binance considers SHIB worth holding, prospective investors might be convinced that there's actually something valuable about SHIB, which is something that we're already seeing, but more on that later. Speaking of exchanges, have you considered using Fairdesk? The exchange offers you a wide variety of crypto options that you can purchase, sell, or exchange quickly and conveniently. And on your first transaction, you get a 4% bonus. 
it's a win all around for you, so consider checking it out. Now back to SHIB. The trading volume of the token on many exchanges has spiked by almost 8 million percent. In just 24 hours, more than 13 trillion SHIB tokens have exchanged hands, and of that amount, about 3 billion SHIB were purchased by a single wallet. For this to be happening at this point, it looks like it might have something to do with the fact that Binance just revealed that it holds a lot of SHIB. The Binance reveal might also have something to do with the fact that the number of new SHIB holders just spiked crazily recently. Or it could just be thanks to all the improvements that are being made on the Shiba Inu ecosystem. At the time of recording this video, about 1.28 million people have SHIB in their crypto portfolio. What this means is that close to 5,000 people have joined the community in the last two days and close to 50,000 joined in the last two weeks. That's crazy, especially considering what the crypto market is looking like right now. A SHIB army decided to do the honors of welcoming the newcomers while also offering a word of advice, writing, SHIB army, there are 50,000 new SHIB holders in the last two weeks. People are starting to understand that it is in the bloodbath that you have to buy and not during the pumps. Congratulations and welcome to all new holders, you have come to the right place. Still in the spirit of good news, she burn rate is spiking as well. But before we get into that, this channel has a daily giveaway of 100,000 sheep. For a chance to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Hashtag Shiba Inu. Good luck. She burn specifically just announced that it has burned about 127 million sheep tokens, and they did this in one single transaction. What's more, they mentioned that this is just the first part. Apparently, they're waiting for payments for SheBurn radio ads and super followers to come through in order to make more burns. So, in the next couple of days, we should be seeing SheBurn rates spike again. But SheBurn is not alone in burning SheB. Other parties were also involved in SheBurns, pushing the amount of tokens burned in the last 24 hours to about 38.4 million SheB. Let's see how much burns SheBurn will carry out when the rest of its income lands. Now for a quick look into the general crypto market before we call it a day here. Binance CEO CZ is usually quite vocal about happenings within the crypto market, but his recent input on an issue was not well received. Basically, what happened is that CZ referenced an article published by Yahoo Finance where it was mentioned that Coinbase Custody holds 635,000 BTC on behalf of Grayscale. But CZ didn't only share a link to that article, he also mentioned that Coinbase had less than 600k just 4 months ago and added another link to prove it. He did clearly state that he was not making any claims, just stating news reports. But this did not stop some members of the crypto community from coming after him. Without directly quoting CZ, Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, wrote this on his Twitter page. If you see FUD out there, remember, our financials are public. We are a public company. This looks like he was replying to CZ, especially considering that CZ deleted his own tweet. CZ also posted a new tweet, writing, Brian Armstrong just told me the numbers in the articles are wrong. Deleted the previous tweets. Let's work together to improve transparency in the industry. So, it looks like it's all good now. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.